know, two of the missing teens from DC speak out. One of whom chose to stay anonymous, and in both cases neither one of them were kidnapped, both girls were runaways and left willingly. But something struck us with these girls, it's clear that they did not like their situations at home, one stated she was in and out of group homes and that her foster mother had mistreated her badly so she left and hid and slept in a laundry mat for days on end. Yeah, I was scared, but I felt I'm not about to sit in somebody's house is not taking care of me the way they're supposed to. That is really sad. And, the other who was missing would not say where she was at, while in tears explained that these teens just want to get away. They don't know what they're looking for. They don't know what they're trying to find. Wow. And we want to make it clear that they're not treating these as crime cases nor as possible human trafficking because they claim that in 2017 alone the Metropolitan Police Department in D.C. has had over 500 records of missing children, and out of that only 22 of them remain open. This area is plagued with open and shut cases as such and these kids usually resurface within a few days. This is troubling to us because like, where are they going and why are the numbers so high? This breaks our hearts that young kids of today want out so bad. As a people we have got to do better in parenting, in our homes, in our schools, and in society, because this is absolutely absurd. Shaking my head. What are y'all thinking about this? Let us know below. Oh, and don't forget to like, share and to subscribe to this page for more. PetTBlog.com signing off.